Whose responsibility it was to communicate directly with the I am. So yes, you can I am. Speak no, I'm saying I can't say who was responsible for communicating with General Hara. That's so what my answer not, was. You were not in communication with anybody at this point of the state? With no, I was in communication with the state. We, we were on a meeting uh, earlier that morning on a Zoom call. Earlier that morning, but you Correct. were not in communication with the emergency response, the state, as that fire barrel down and in the many hours afterwards? Well, first of all, when you say that fire, which one are you talking about? We had three exactly. going on well, at the same were, time. There so were two on the high note, the first one, and that grew into the second one. But I'm specifically talking about that time period where hospitals were packed, social media showed the fire, showed people running for their lives, and yet... Well, I wasn't on social media, so I can't speak. First of all, I'm not going to speak to social media. I wasn't on social media. We didn't have time for that. But I'm referring to the fire that was going on in Kula, not the two fires so in Lahaina as Lahaina, well. Lahaina, which is why we're all here. Well, today. I'm going to answer your question. Yes. I don't know who spoke to General Hara. That's my answer to your question. I, and, I think, and that's for all four of your questions. Okay, so my question is for now well, General Hara. I would, yeah, I would first, like some clarification. You're going to let us answer it, all right? What's that? You know, are you going to let us answer the I will question? Let, let, let me kind of let me clarify some things when the mayor is trying to answer and you're rudely interrupting. At first point, I'm Major okay. Major General Kenneth Hara, not Major. Um, so I didn't say, well, I said I didn't know about the deaths the following morning. I didn't say the county was not in communication with me. We're looking at whatever response the state could do, but because of the winds, we couldn't start our helicopters and we couldn't launch them in commitment. We're ready. We're ready to go. So, so the narrative you're pushing is not totally accurate. Don't you think, it's not a narrative, don't you think it was important for your agency to know about the deaths 12 hours later? Um, I don't think I could have done anything about that. You don't think there was any way that people could have been mobilized to maybe help prevent? We don't know how many other people maybe died waiting for a response. You don't think there's anything your agency... I don't, I don't, I personally, I don't think so with the time, the, the rate okay. that the fire spread. But I talked about this previously, is 60 to 85 miles per hour. You think about that. That's, that's a mile a minute. In the last from, from, and even the fire department that was there on the ground that almost perished, almost perished, didn't know how deadly it was and how quickly it was going to spread. Let me finish, brother. I'm, like, right? I'm just saying the timeline, we've, we've been looking at the timeline. What I'm trying to say yeah, is that, that fire was so rapid. And by the time everyone had situational awareness, it, it was too late, unfortunately. So that's all I'm trying to say. Thank you. Thank you. So I appreciate the non-debate uh, questions. Um, I think we are doing our best. And you know that we are, uh, we will get our way through that. So I'll ask you for that continued.